Hi guys. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful here. At the end of the street of my house. This is the Barachois. And you can come and fish here. And look, here's the ocean. <laughs> beautiful sunny day today. I mean, this is so beautiful. So, obviously I can come in here with my canoe, with my kayak and uh, get into the water and just go around, you know, not too far. I can't even go into the Barachois. It's not very deep, but uh, who needs deep if you can fish and get some fish? See, there's some people fishing right there. So there must be some fish around here. <laughs> Anyways, it's a beautiful day. I thought I'd show you where I'm at. I came by bike, came with my little bike and uh, yeah, it's cool. Oh my God, I'm enjoying the sun. Hope you do doing the same thing. It's the 24th of June, which is Saint Jean Baptiste for Quebec. So it's a big celebration here. I didn't celebrate because I felt like staying home and just do my thing and my little fire and uh, I enjoyed it. Nice meal and a beer and that's it. That's all it takes to make me happy. So you guys, uh, See, this is the Barachois, so you can just go and enjoy a good ride. So it's really nice, really nice. It's um, off 132, but look, there's a big beach all the way around there. And uh, it's really something. This is the Barachois Hope Town. So this is the same place where I'm at, you know, with my bike. And look, if I walk to the beach, the end of the beach, see when I go with my kayak, I can go right here and turn around and go in this bay. And there's a beautiful beach here that nobody, nobody comes to because you can't go by car. You have to come by bike or you gotta walk. And this is wonderful, isn't it? Just come and enjoy. Beautiful. There's some people there. And then uh, enjoying the water. Beautiful rocks. Look how beautiful this is. Now, come on. Isn't this is a nice place to live. Oh, I know winter is like big time snow, but for the summer. In the winter, I'll be in the south. But for the summer, I really love it here. I hope you enjoy it. This is what I love about this place. Oh, you hear our birds? And all you see is forest. My garden. <laughs> I got peppers right there and tomatoes, all kinds. And I did my stairs right there. So we'll see. Now I'm ready to do my little shed. After, you know, I have to go get a, but this is pretty much my setup here. I had some canned tomatoes from my friend, which I did with her last year. And I just prepared my breakfast. And um, this I put this way because of the rain sometimes, but I'm going to put it back there instruction for the shed and then oh, my little herb garden well this is a flower it's not an herb but i want to have a flower inside so and i'm getting ready to have breakfast look i gotta clean up that tree there today 
you know, all the, all the branches, and then put it away with all the other trees there. And I'm starting to take the bark off some trees, so slowly but surely. But I heard that I'm not going to get the electricity before October 8th, so I'm not going to stay long. So this was just to tell you how cool this place is. This is the morning. It's beautiful. It's very cool. <laughs> Nothing to complain. So I'll see you next time. Water is so clear. Beautiful. I'm with my son at La Point, Daniel Gascon. So beautiful. Hi guys! <laughs> I'm on my land and I'm having a little fire. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. No, maybe not. Okay, hold on. That's where the fire is. Right there. And um, this is compost. <laughs> and this is my nice salad. I'm having a little nice glass of wine. And this is the land. So it's pretty much cleared out now. And I have my pump, the water pump. There it goes. So it's not really working that great so far. But I think uh, we're going to have to go a little deeper. But other than that, this is so cool. Um, that's what I wanted to show you how fun this is, you know, having my fire and I'm eating in a nice screen thing so there's no bugs here. You know, pretty much um, I'm really happy. Really cool. Today a friend came to help me out with the, my shed. My shed is going to be completed tomorrow. Hey guys, so this is my fire. Two uh, extra seats for company. And then um, I got wood and then I got some to cut. Look at that. Oh my god. There's so much work to do. Oh Jesus. But it's fine. It's great. I got my little sort of garden right beside me. Tomatoes. Yeah, and tires. Mm -hmm. Planters as tires. And uh, I'm going to make you visit a little bit. See, I'm missing some stones. I'm going to go get them tomorrow. I didn't have time today. And this is my other garden. I cover my tools. That's why this tarp is there. But it's not going to be there when I'm going to have my, my um, shed all done and finished with. My shed is right there. See, that's what I've been doing all day. That's my shed. It's not going to be big, but it's just for to put my little equipment, you know, that I don't want to bring in my van. So it's going to be for, uh, actually, I have a shredder to shred all this <laughs> to make mulch. I got my, uh, well, this is going to stay up outside uh, for sure, but it's, so this is the, the driveway I had made. This pipe needs to be under there to get the water going. This is my van. And uh, there is the pump. So what happened to the pump is they worked so hard, my son and a friend, to put the, all those pipes together. And then we measured and it was like water, four feet um, over that uh, drive point, which is three feet. So we thought it would be good, but no, no water came out. So we're going to have to dig a little bit more. So we're going to have to take all this off and then dig more or take everything off and see what was wrong with it because we're going to measure tomorrow again 
where the water is. So if the water is at the right level, it's because there's something wrong with the pipes or something wrong with um, maybe the, the head. Maybe I tried today to pump it. It went much better than yesterday. It was pumping, but I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm going to have someone that knows about all this stuff to come and verify this. But this is the pump that I want to do. And I want it high because I want to really fill my 20 gallon, which is, you know, like of water that I have in the back of my van. So this is what I'm, uh, I'm going to start doing. Skin all the trees, everything. I have to take the bark off all those trees because I want to do a sort of um, cabin. My hammock, do you see? This is the hammock that I use when I want to be uh, reading and being in the shade. So this is what it is. And at the end of this road here, you don't see the ocean from here because it's a little mountain, you see? That's why we don't hear 132. We don't hear the traffic. It's right after this hill there is the ocean. So it's really good because I don't hear any traffic. No noise at all. It's like birds and that's it. If I was over that hill and I bought these lands there, hmm, I would hear the 132. And I would hear the traffic. I'll leave you on that beautiful fire. Mm. Look at this. This is peace and quiet. Hello, you guys. Ooh. <laughs> what a beautiful day today. I did some work. And um, a lot of work, actually. It doesn't show, but it did. And I did um, some cooking. Curry chicken. By the way, here's Blue Blue. And his food. <laughs> and now he likes to sleep outside and he doesn't even sleep in this thing. He goes in the trees. He's like a... Want to say hello? He said hello, baby blue. Oh, you be aggressive. No, don't be aggressive to this. So he's got some little... Oh, I got to put more in there. All right, so um, this is my little shed. This is my little trailer where I got all this and then I did this and then uh, put away everything. My electric bike now is here instead of being in my van. Look at this. The two squirrels in the little thing eating. Look. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? <laughs> Look, they don't even mind me. Ah, so cute. I got some little tourterelles. <laughs> I got three of them, like, coming here.